Welcome to Mondays with Mark. If you're watching on Facebook, please share our program so all your friends can watch along with you. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure and subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss a Mondays with Mark. Well, hello everybody. This week at MarkLowry.com, which is our sponsor, uh, you can get the Christmas bundle. Danny Phillips, Philip, Q Phillips, you know Q, he's been my road manager forever. His sweet wife has put the bundle together. For 20 bucks, you get my Mary Did You Know book. When you get my Christmas CD. What a great little stocking stuffer. So run on over there to marklowry.com and put in $20 plus tax and shipping and we will send that out. Danny, in fact, will send that right out to you. And look who is here. Philip B. Dare. He's back, y'all. Hey, Philip. Hello. Can y'all hear him? He's such a soft speaker. But I want to tell you who's not here tonight. She's unfaithful. <laughs> no, she's faithful. In fact, she is at in Savannah, Georgia with her brother. Colleen is in Savannah, Georgia with her brother uh, at his house and took his, uh, their mama, uh, Gay Nell, and then their other sister, Gay Lynn. So the D Hart Trio is in Savannah, Georgia. So there you go. And all you coming in, thank you. Hey, Mark Carruthers. Hey, Karen. Hello, uh, Lisa Allen Randalls, Heather Tews, Pauline Teresa Pickering, Joshua Martin, Margaret Dupre, and watching all the way in Gorman, Texas is Maudel Pointer and Dina Davidson. That's Dina, y'all. She went to, uh, drove five hours to see Maudel for Thanksgiving. Maudel is our dear, sweet friend who lives up there, and she's in her early 90s and lives by herself. And she's brilliant, but she's got a gun under her bed, so don't you try nothing. She's amazing. Anyway, I love her. Hello, Maudie. Hello, Dina. And all you tuning in, we're going to sing this little song right now. You remember this one? Well, there's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee. Peace be still in all of life's ebb and flow. Sing it. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go, feasting on the riches of His grace, resting neath His sheltering wing. Always looking on his smiling face That is why I shout and sing Well, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Sweetest name I know Fills my every longing Keeps me singing as I go Last verse, here we go well, soon he's coming back to welcome me Far beyond the starry sky I shall wing my flight to worlds unknown I shall reign with him on high Well, sing it, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Sweetest name I know Fills my every longing, keeps me singing as I go. Yay, that was a fun one. Oh, y'all, we're going to FaceTime Colleen now. Well, I'm going to see if she'll pick up. Uh, she is not very faithful to leave us in the midst of Thanksgiving time. I'm going to Midlothian, Texas to be with my sweet niece, Courtney, and her husband. My, my brother, and uh, Mike and Natasha will be there, and Chelsea and Chad, the whole, whole, Mike's whole family, so I'm going to go be with them. 
But I, uh, I wanted to just try this. Let's just see if this works. We got none. This is not NBC. <laughs> we can do whatever we want to do. Let's see if she'll answer. She says she ate something real good tonight, and I don't appreciate it. I do not appreciate. Got my iced tea. Have you got your iced tea? Unsweetened decaf. What are you doing? Well, I'm leaving this fabulous restaurant. I think this is a door out. What was the name of it? It's called. It's called the Pirates House. It's called the Pirates House. And it was good. Oh my goodness! It was delicious. We had the best dinner here. What all was on? The- what all was on your plate? Well, I had, I had the blackened snapper with uh, smoky collard greens oh, and some, some sort of a like a fried grit, like a fried grit. It was like cornbread, like fried cornbread. Ooh. Oh, it was so good. And then we had pea crab soup. You know, oh. that's that's the big thing here in Savannah. It's called she crab soup. Yes. Yeah. Mm, oh, it's so delicious. Oh my lord. <laughs> Somebody honking? <laughs> yeah, not at me. I'm Dina says hey. Let me turn around here. Can You're, you see? What are they doing? They're, I don't know who that is. It's an alarm. Door. Rebuke it. Anyway, let me move out. Let me move out of the way here. So. Well, have a good Thanksgiving. Just know that you've been unfaithful today. Uh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're supposed to be here every Monday night, 7 p.m. I know. Well, here I am. <laughs> I, I'm, here. I, I'm here in spirit, you know. All right. Well, have a good Thanksgiving. Thanks. You too. Bye. Well, that was Colleen. At least we know where she is. What are y'all thankful for? I'm thankful that I can sit in my bedroom slash office slash studio on Monday nights at 7 p.m. and meet with you, and I don't even have to leave my hometown of Houston. I'm thankful that because of the technology we have today and YouTube and Facebook, that we can hang out together every every Monday night, no matter where you are all over the world. Some people in some, like, over there in England and stuff, they get up at one in the morning to watch you. so they don't miss it live. They want to be when we do it live, and I don't blame you. There's something exciting about live because you're on a tightrope because I could say one or two words and just crash my career right now. <laughs> just one, two, maybe three words, and I could uh. nosedive 50 <laughs> years of... <laughs> And it's like walking a tightrope, and I like it. Uh, hey, someone, and I don't remember who, recommend, and we're going to get Kelly Nealon Clark, and I'm going to show you a video of my friends, the Fabulous Five, who were here and just went home this morning in just a minute. But um, someone requested this song, and I want to sing it for you. Mama wrote it, and Philip just learned it. One on day. Huh? On the way here. On the way here, actually, he learned it. I asked him if he'd learn it. One day I came to him I was so thirsty I asked for water My throat was so dry He gave me water That I had never dreamed But for this water, my Lord had to die. He said, I thirst, yet he made the rivers. He said, I thirst, yet he made the sea. I thirst, said the king of the ages. In his great thirst, he brought water to me. Now there's a river 
that flows clear as crystal. It comes from God's throne above. And like a river, it wells up inside me, bringing mercy and life said I thirst and yet he made the rivers he said I thirst yet he made the sea I thirst said the king of the ages In his great thirst, he brought water to me. In his great thirst, he brought water to me. Thank you, Mama, for that song. Here's a little video I made of me and my friends this weekend. Hi, oh, no, 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 no. That was a dinner conversations commercial. I don't want to do that. This is the... Just picked up Kathy, Steve Berba, Dee Dee Oldham, Paula Oldham. We are at Cleburne Cafeteria. The Fabulous Five. They just arrived. Yeah. Look at all that deliciousness. Here we are. Is that fish? What is that? We are with all the food. Look at my chicken fried steak. Mm. And all this food. It's a glutton's paradise. I was like, which one is it's delicious? <laughs> Cleburne Cafeteria. Wait, what? I said, which one is Kathy's food? Everything <laughs> easy. Hey, y'all. This is my dear friend Kathy. We've known each other 42 years. If you follow my Facebook page, you know. Because we made a face years ago, 42 years ago. Her husband was 23 and we were 20 and we didn't want to be 23 because he was so old. He seemed so old. <laughs> and so we would say, we'll never be 23. And then we would make faces at the cameras. Let's do it. Like that. When we would take pictures. But I was walking around Liberty Baptist College, the music department one day, and I heard Someone tearing up the keyboards. And it, and was, it was David Musselman. <laughs> it was Kathy Miller. And now she's Kathy Ward. Let's us uh, uh let's do what can we do? Silent night? All right. Let's do try that. Silent night. That's too high. Go lower. Huh? You can't change keys. Not right very now. well. You can't. Silent night. She can too.
had a good time, haven't we? Yeah. Yes! Well, we have, and we Paula have. and Dee Dee and Berba. Come here, Berba. He's in his robe oh. still. There's Steve Berba in his robe. And there's Paula Johnson. This is Doug Oldham's oldest, or daughter they love the longest. There you go. Yeah, this yeah. is Paula. Hello. Let me get, get you, we need some good light. Stand up here for a minute. I know it's tough. It is hard to stand. But this is Paula Johnson, one of the greatest storytellers. Not really. What is one of them you could tell? A real oh. good, what was it like traveling on the road with Doug Oldham? Were it was any, a blast because we didn't drive from city to city. We drove from restaurant to restaurant. And we would go from, you know, some fabulous restaurant after a concert in D.C. And we would drive eight hours to... I don't know, Louisville or somewhere, and we'd have, he, he had a restaurant in Michigan, was at a, a bowling alley. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, and so we would shoot for that, for that restaurant, and it was great. So you went from restaurant, that yeah. is my kind of touring. Yeah. He didn't know, you know, it wasn't 875 miles from point A to point B, it was from 875 miles from restaurant to restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, he was great to travel with. Well, and you fun. sang back up with him. I did. I was a doo wop girl. You were the doo wop girl. I was. And didn't Dee 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 did. She traveled with him too. But we didn't go at the same time. We did different. Oh, you did? Yeah. You mm -hmm. had different tenures? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Well, I'm, I've good. had so much fun having y'all here. Oh, this it's been so nice. He has weekend. the nicest, wonder, most wonderful, comfortable house. You should come here. Everyone should come to Mark Lowry's house. Just knock on the door, he'll let you in. Yeah, no, <laughs> please don't. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I loved having y'all here. Y'all have a good flight home Thank and you. a good Thanksgiving. Thank you. You too. And I love you Eat guys. Eat lots of turkey. I will. Oh, Dee Dee's coming out the door, I think, Where? out of the gift house. Yep. Let's see if Dee Dee's coming. Yeah, I see the door open. Maybe she just opened it up for her. Da, 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 da. We're missing that part. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Wait. Play and play with authority. Yeah, lead us in. <laughs> Nothing like lifelong friends. Dee Dee, Paula Johnson, Kathy, Steve Berber, thank y'all for coming. Hey, listen, um, all of you, we're going to play the interview now with Kelly Nealon Clark. 
Kelly Nealon, Thompson, Clark, <coughs> who knows what's next, but I love her dearly. <laughs> I tease her constantly. <laughs> hey, I love this girl and her family. There's, they've been in this gospel music world forever, and they love the Lord. Watch this sweet little interview. Yay! Oh, okay. and it's working. Good. Hi, Yay! Kelly. I did it. I can't Hi, believe Mark. it. How are you? And your Wi-Fi looks like it's holding up. You're out on the farm, right? Yes, I am, out in the middle of nowhere. In fact, let me show everybody this picture of y'all in the Green Acres. There they are, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Green Acres is the place to be. <laughs> to be. And then I've got a picture <laughs> yep. of uh, Jason in the hospital. we got to talk about that. Yeah, he, uh, he won't talk about it, but I will. Okay. He's just now walking in, and Autumn is too. And then also so, Bull, Bull Gaither. Tell us about, now y'all have bought a farm. What is going on? Yes, I know. I've lived in the city my entire life. I don't know anything about a farm. And uh, it's just been the craziest thing. Um, we, we bought a farm and we're out on 53 acres in Rootville, Georgia. We have a wedding venue where people come every weekend. Matter of fact, we have one this weekend, and they get married in our barn. And can they, and let me ask you this. Have, I, I've got kellynealand.com up. Is that how they find you? Um, no, no, it's thenealands.com. Well, let me change now, that while we're talking. Find, yeah. The yeah. The Yeah, thenealands.com. All right. Yes. Okay, so you tell about it. Tell and it again. Go we ahead. We have, we have 11, let's see, we have 10 cows, which I found out are called heifers. <laughs> and, see, I didn't even know that. <laughs> and we have one bull, and all the cows are pregnant. And so um, that bull's been busy. <laughs> so you inherit you you inherited all these. Are you bought all the cows with the property? Came with the property. And uh -huh. so up to date, now we have eight new babies. Um, number seven was we named him Bull Gaither, <laughs> and number eight was a little girl. And we named her Glorio Gaither because she has a white face. Glorio. So she's black and white. Now, oh, that's cute. I sent them both. I sent it to Gloria and I sent it to Bill. And Bill said, I love being a bull. Uh, well, he loves being a bull. He is a bull. He's a bully on that stage <laughs> telling us what to sing, where to stand. You know, even when we go out to eat, have you noticed he even programs our dinners because he tells everybody where to sit? Yeah, I want you to sit here and you sit here. I just say, okay. Well, uh, me too. Because I'm a follower. Me, well, when he's leading, I just follow because, you know, why not? He knows what he's doing. Can you believe he's, what is he, 83 now? 83. And he is much better than me. I mean, he just goes like the Energizer Bunny. I've never seen anything like it. I always think, what, what vitamin are you taking? Because I'm going to take it too. I mean, he's incredible. He is. Never incredible. slows down. Okay, now, are you on your Wi Fi? <laughs> I am. Okay, because it's starting is to. Is it look, not working? Starting to little jerk a little. Hey, uh, so now oh, you've got, so you've got the Neelands going full time, and you, y'all have been traveling for 40 or 50 years now, right? Yes, we have. Matter of fact, we just got back from Canada. We were there for about four or five days, and so we never stopped traveling. We have people here at the farm who are helping with the weddings and, and stuff like that. And we have neighbors um, who live across the street, and they take care of the cows and keep us, you know, keep the cows up to date on their shots and deworming and stuff like that. And they'll feed them when we're gone. I can't um, believe but, all uh, that. <laughs> but they're so sweet. They are the sweetest people. Um, their name is uh, Justin and Meredith, and they come over every single day Wow. Um, and take care of everything. Because we just had a new baby. The Gloria was just born yesterday. 
Yeah. And so um, uh, it's she has the cutest face. I just want to go now, hug them. How are you going? If you I name really if you them. name all of these animals, you know it's going to be hard to eat them. They may be shipped off somewhere, but <laughs> you won't. You won't be. Know. You won't. You he won't be saying pass me. You won't be saying pass me a piece of Bill Gaither. No, no. But but I did find out that uh, it's kind of sad. But the boys go first. The girls get to stay around a while, but the boys they they get out of here. Really? Yeah, I hate that. The little bull, the little, but you got to keep one bull so you can keep having babies. Well, the bull that we had, he's young, and so um, we'll have him for a while. Well, he's lucky. You you won't. You won't. You won't be killing him anytime soon. He gets to father all the babies. No, and his name is Bobo. Bobo the bull. Bobo the bull. Now, I never, in my wildest. what? I said, I never in my wildest dreams thought I would see Kelly Nealon Clark running a farm. Me either. I don't, I really don't run the farm. I run the wedding venue. Uh, so that's a lot, that's a lot for me. You and know, you enjoy so, that. Um, <laughs> I forgot that my Wi-Fi is hooked up to my iPad and my phone. So <laughs> sometimes I'm getting a little call here, and I had to disconnect. But um, oh, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't do the farm. Jason, he handles the farm, and he does all the mowing, and he has the best time out on that tractor. I really, mean, he's gone for days on that tractor, <laughs> just out there with his headphones, and you know. I need to come out and time. see all this. I got to come visit. You do, you do. I mean, it's it's really been the greatest thing i mean it's so peaceful and at night it, it's like the sky goes on forever and it just lights the stars light up i've never seen anything like it i mean it's just really the most peaceful thing to come off the road of a busy schedule and then to get out here we have i mean we have neighbors across the street but we don't have neighbors, really. I right. mean, it's like nobody knows when we, nobody gets mad at us when we pull the bus in at 2 a.m. Yeah. It's the best thing. And you know what? Father, I didn't even get my dream was to have a property where we could all live on and be all together. You know, I guess it's like a commune. I don't know. But anyway, he would be so proud yeah. that we have this and that the girls can move here if they want to. And and Jason's parents are eventually going to move here. And so oh. it's, it's really been neat. Well, are you going to sing yeah, something so for me? If you have any friends oh. that are getting married, they can come to the farm. Right now it's therightfarm.com, W-R-I-G-H-T, therightfarm.com. Therightfarm.com. So, well, let me put that in there, yes. too. So if they want to book Yes, if they want to book the, a wedding, the, we're, the, we're, we're booking for spring. Okay, so the T-H-E-W-R-I-G-H-T-F-A-R-M.com. Correct. Okay, we got a delay on yeah, this internet. And they can go look at it. Well, the next thing y'all need to do is upgrade your Wi-Fi. They don't have anything out here. Well, I mean, there's only 229 people in this city. Isn't that something? And so they don't have any. This is the best Wi-Fi we could get, and we search high and low. For is this. it? So we, I'm dying out here. Well, where, the, where where's the rest of that but group? It is what it is. I want them to sing something. Can you sing? We're okay. Jason, Autumn, are you here? They just don't want to answer me. Jason. Come on this side. It's Autumn and Jason. Hey, Mark. Hey, Jason. How are you, buddy? Hi. I'm doing good. Well, what happened to you? So we're waiting. What? Tell me what happened the other day. Your chest. Well, I realized this summer that I have uh, 
a myocardial bridge, which is like a birth defect. So I've been living with him my whole life. Just, it just flares up every once in a while, you know, with some chest pains. And so... Got, Only 5% of the people in the world have this. Really? Yeah, I'm special. very special. You are so, so special. Anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I, they, uh, you know, I mean, the pain is gone now. I may have to do surgery, you know, so I'm trying to put that off. He's in denial. He's I'm in trying to put that off until after we Kelly, Grand Cayman. Good life. Right. In, do you have good life insurance on him? <laughs> Well, I will say at this point, I'm probably worth more alive than dead. Oh, shoot. Kelly, you got to fix that. <laughs> I, I know. I, I think he's afraid something will happen and I'll be rich. I Autumn, know. how are you, sweet darling? I'm good. How are you? You know, I was so stunned several years ago when you started singing. And you are now one of my favorite singers, and I'm not kidding. Well, thank you. I love your voice. Yes, so, so y'all sing something. Okay. Let's do I Need Thee Every Hour. I don't need to take the lead. You sit front. Good thing about this bench. Yeah. <laughs> you, you say. I need thee every hour. Most great. No tender voice like mine can be You know what the Wi-Fi y'all got, we got to get y'all uh, get y'all one of those uh, USB microphones so when we do that because it was breaking up a little bit but you can tell the family harmonies there it's gorgeous get, get me back in the shot here oh there we are now I'm on the other side hey y'all thank you now Kelly you're still my BFF right uh, always always don't you miss Norman you though. I miss my Norman. I miss Norman so much. Don't, don't Thanksgiving. You? Remember, we we did Thanksgiving at the beach. We did what we did now? A few years ago with you and Norman. We did Thanksgiving at the beach a few years ago with you and Norman. That's that right. Was so much fun. That was so much fun, and he he always came came with the latest gossip. <laughs> yeah, I know nothing. <laughs> I know you can't keep can't can't learn anything about what's going on in gospel music anymore because Norman's dead. I know. <laughs> I know. It's probably better for me that way. Yeah, he he's keep <laughs> keeping them all straight up there in heaven. He is. He is. I miss him terribly. Oh, he was one. No funny. one liked Norman. Oh, he was no a one liked he was a f one know, of the funniest. When, he, you know, one time I said, Norman, do you think I need to lose any weight? And he said, oh, maybe five or ten. <laughs> <laughs> he was a straight shooter. And he'd always, always he always, he loved to pick on Joy. He loved to pick on Joy Gardner and, and say, I ran into Joy Gardner at Lane Bryant the other day. You know, because Lane Bryant... <laughs> 
She's so little. I know it. Hey, Jason, I'm I'm glad you're doing better, buddy. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, I feel great tonight. Kelly's gonna get in this kitchen and cook me the biggest meal tonight. I just feel it coming on. You cook. You may be listening to the wrong spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you cook something, Kelly? Uh, a few no. things. I can cook a few things. Yeah. Like I make a lot of spaghetti. You were made to hold a microphone, not a spatula. <laughs> Autumn's a good cook. Autumn is a really good cook. She cooks for us. I oh, bet she, she is. She does. She's really good. I don't know where she got it from. But me and Amber, what we don't your, have the gift. What was your mama's line? Your mama's, uh, she would always say about the stove at Christmas. Oh, she only wrote, my mama, she didn't cook either, but she said, I only roll the stove out at Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, Only I guess I'll roll it out. Roll the stove out. Thank you. That's funny. Well, thank y'all for doing yeah. that. I love you guys. Thank y'all for working me in. I know, Kelly, it's a lot of work to, you know, look that good because you had to take hours, you said. <laughs> At least you here. The one looks good. Yeah, look at me and Autumn. You look beautiful, Autumn. And Jason, I'm just glad you're alive. <laughs> me, too. me too. Me too. Me too. We, we love you, Mark. I love y'all, and I'm coming to see y'all soon. I want you to. I got to see that whole that whole farm situation. I don't know if I believe it or not. <laughs> You'll believe it when you get here. <laughs> I know I will. All right, listen, I'll, I'll let you go. Well, y'all, looky here. When my friend Norman passed away, I flew to Nashville, got this little angel, and I've had her five years now, and I'm thankful this Thanksgiving week for sweet Bella Jean. Well, thanks. Thanks, I give you thanks for all he's done. I am so blessed, my soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. What are you thankful for, y'all? This is Thanksgiving week. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you've done. I am so blessed, my soul has found rest. Oh Lord, I give you thanks. And you know one that I sing all the time that just comes out of me sometimes so I don't even realize it. For saving my soul, thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me. Salvation so rich and free. Sing it again if you know it. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. so rich and free. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Listen, next Monday night, December 2nd, I think, December 2nd, it's going to be the Christmas show, the Christmas sing-along with a bunch of people. And uh, 
singers from all over Houston. It's going to be great. Mary Griffin will be here. Bubba McNeely will be here. Uh, Vincent Powell will be here. Jana. Who? Jana. Jana, yes, Jana, Sister Pretty, we call her. Philip will be here. Uh, also, um, Bill and Renee, Bill and Renee are coming. Yay! It's going to be good. It's going to be a Christmas sing-along. And just like tonight, we'll go till we get bored. And I'm not really bored. Are you bored yet? But it's kind of over, ain't it? It's been a good night. Maudie, did you make it to the end? Maudie O'Pointer, are you and Dina still watching? Um, I'm looking. Can I sing with you too? Sure, Patsy Dixon, Tippin, sing along with us. Get get a group, get a group of y'all, and watch the program, and everybody sing along. Cause you'll be able to sing along on all those songs Monday. Uh, Debbie McCarty Morgan, Happy Thanksgiving to you. Natalie Klosterman, Wow. Donna Shea, Joe, Joe Ritter, Brenda Miller, Janet Laws, Adventure with the uh, Who, t- the M- McGarry. Pauline Teresa Pickering, Mary Ellen Shedron, Jan W. Ritter, all of y'all, all of you from all over the world. I've seen Australia tonight, Peru, everywhere. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I, I love you guys. And thank you for tuning in. And I will see you Monday night. And happy Thanksgiving. Find a reason to be, to be grateful. Good night. Thank you for tuning in to Mondays with Mark. We'll see you next Monday night, 7 p.m. Central, right here, wherever you saw our program. YouTube, be sure and like us and ring the bell. Facebook, please share our program. And we will see you next Monday night, 7 p.m. Central, for another Mondays with Mark.